So what are economic institutions? It is a network of the producers that produce and distribute goods and services to the consumers that reciprocates manufacturing costs with financial profit. Similar to a society, its value and purpose is primarily based on the perception of its members. Economic institutions are perceived in two different ways, the functionalist perspective and the conflict perspective. The functionalist perspective views economic institutions as systems, agencies, and organizations that greatly contribute to the production of necessities such as food and clothing and other materials that benefit the people. On the contrary, the conflict perspective by Karl Marx sees economic institutions as biased to the ruling classes or groups. It shows economic institutions as the ones that make laborers of the society inferior and does its works only for the ruling classes which deprives them to a decent quality life. Marx's perspective focuses on the key issues that concerned Marx. First, the politics of economic class. Relations between labor and capital. Relations between culture, social life, and economy. Class. Economic exploitation and inequality. The connections between wealth and power. The connections between critical consciousness and progressive social change. Karl Marx at first recognized that there are only two classes in capitalist society. Marxist perspective means you are supporting the working class instead of the middle class. For middle class abuse, the power in order for them to become wealthier. The poor stays poor and the rich gets richer. We're going to talk about non-market institutions. But what is a non-market institution? Basically, a non-market institution is a type of transaction that does not require the exchange of money. This can be categorized into three types, such as reciprocity, transfer, and redistribution. For reciprocity, it is a transaction between two organizations wherein they both give each other goods. Think of it as an exchange gift, uh, when you're giving goods in exchange for something. Now, for transfer, it is basically uh, what you call a donation. It could be uh, as, as simple as a donation from your friend, uh, inherited inheritance from your parents, or it could be something as large as uh, crops given to farmers by the government. Now, redistribution is sort of a combination of the two previous ones. Where in redistribution, where you give your goods and receive some, you take from those goods and then give it away to uh, another company. Now, that is basically what non-market institutions are. They are the exchange of goods or donation of goods without the use of money or payments. State market relationships. It is to protect the interests of consumers and workers to correct decisions made by private sector. A coin term is a fiscal policy that means government are encouraged to increase their public spending on infrastructures to further spur economic activity. Also, government should correct the imbalance in the access of goods and through the process of income redistribution. Mainly, one important theme for this subtopic is tax. Taxes are compulsory contributions to government coffers and many more. It is needed to raise revenues. What is the international trade? This type of trade is all about exchange of goods and services between countries in which prices are supply and demand affect are affected by global events. Trading globally gives consumers and countries the opportunity to be exposed to goods and services not available in their own countries. 
almost every kind of product can be found on the international market. Foods, clothes, spare parts, oil, jewelry, wine, stocks, for services, transportation, tourism, and banking. As it opens up the opportunity for specialization and therefore more efficient use of resources, international trade has the potential to maximize a country's capacity to produce and acquire goods. Thank you.